Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Lost Inferno Fire Dragon here, and today I'm doing a deck profile on Yoriko the Tiger, Tiger Shadow. This is my ninjas for Magic the Gathering, and I'm going to show you some uh, combos I uh, found with the deck that you could really help you out. The best combos you want to have are, I'll pull out the cards you'll really want to have in order to really make the deck work. It's four right there. Um... And hang on real quick, I'm looking for another card. No, it's in here somewhere, it's just... I guess, scram through cards first. To find it. <laughs> Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. And there we go. I'll go over the deck profile in a little bit, but I'm going to show you the perfect can you'll want to have. Okay. Mm. Hang on, there's one more that if you go, if you're in a three man pod, that you'll want to have to really ramp quickly. If I can find it. There we go, and it's set. I'm gonna give the deck a quick shuffle. Okay, so the perfect can you want to have when you start the game out are these seven cards. Then if you go with the seven cards are. Diabolic Tutor, you pay for, you search your library for a card, put that card in your hand, then shuffle your library. Demir Aqueduct, which when it comes into the battlefield, you have to return land to your hand. But it taps for two mana, a blue and black. Hamelier of Depths, this is a good card for blue because it literally sets up your next three draws. Treasure Map, which oh, allows you to scry. Like familiar depths, except and after it gets three treasure counters, what it does is it transforms into a land. Also, if anyone's wondering what the sleeves are, they are Dragon Shield, which they are not sponsoring this video. And then the another card we have is Opt. It lets you scry one, and if you like it, you put it into your hand, and you get to draw it. Karn's Temporal Sundering, which lets you take an extra turn. You ping, uh, you can ping anyone you want, you even yourself. You get to take an extra turn, and you can return something to your hand, which works well with Familiar Depths, which will allow you to look at your next three draws for a third time. And then you have Reliquary Tower, which you have no max hand size. And then add in Soul Ring. What you want to do is, if you have this perfect hand, what you'll do is you'll go into Soul Ring, you'll go Reliquary Tower, no max hand size, tap it, go into Soul Ring, tap Soul Ring into Treasure Map, and then pass. Then what you'll do is start going to your upkeep, You'll draw one, then you'll play Familiar of Depths, set up, look at your next three draws, set it any way you want, and then 
you're good. Then go, then you'll, um, end your turn. You'll pay one for Reliquary Tower. Tap treasure map, get to treasure quest counter. You scry one, put it back on top. Then keep going. Your turn again starts. Draw. Play Demir Aqueduct. Bounce depths back to hand. Then you will pass turn. Then you'll do that. That and that. Look, scry, put it back. Then end your turn. Then it starts again. Your turn starts again. Play depths again. Set your next three draws up. And then you're good. Then you'll... Then what you'll do is you'll do aqueduct. Tap soul ring. You'll have one spirit. Play Yoriko, then pass, do that, that, scry one, put it back on top, it transforms into a land, and then you have one, then you have three counters, three treasures, which, treasure tokens, which you'll need one of these, use a d6 to set up, and then you're good. Then what you'll do is you'll do this. Untap, you'll play Demir Guildgate, I'll come in tapped, then what you'll do is you'll play, Demir Aqueduct, you'll tap that for one black, sacrifice a treasure token for a second black, and then have one from the blue from Demir Aqueduct, you'll tap this, for treasure map. Then you'll play Diabolic Tutor. Then you'll search your deck for Planar Bridge, which is a six drop artifact. Put it into your hand. After you do that, then you will pass turn. Then it's your and then your opponent's turn. That'll just be great for now. Then you'll play opt off of the depths. Then you'll scry one if you like it, and you can draw that card. Then you'll then pass. Everything untaps. Then you play a land for turn, after you draw one. Then what you'll do is... Then you'll pay the six for... Sorry for tapping the camera and causing that. Then you'll play Planar Bridge. Then you'll pass... Everything on taps, and you scry one. You draw, play a land for turn. Then what you do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you'll tap planar bridge. Then you'll go into your library and get Omniscience. Basically, after you play Omniscience, you have game. And what I yesterday I was playing a game with some friends, and what I did was I played Omniscience. Then I played... Um, hang on, I'm looking for some cards to... Okay. I play Consuming Aberration, which, it's a horror. Every time you play a spell, your opponent mills till they hit a land. Then, uh, after that, I had 
on field was archetype of finality. What it does is give all my creatures death touch and my opponents lose death touch. Then I played archetype of imagination. It gives all my creatures flying and my opponents creatures lose flying. The way I did omniscience was I uh, played Karn's Temporal Sunning, which allowed me to take an extra turn. And that's the combo I found. So I'm going to go into deck profile in just a little bit. Um, let me just get a few things set, um, put back to normal. And then I'll be... Um, um, sorry about that. I'm a little scatterbrained right now and tired I'm in the finals this week so yeah I'll go ahead and gather up all the lands that the I'll just go into deck into the deck itself okay so we have Yoriko the Tiger Shadow the commander it has commander ninjutsu uh, let me zoom in so you guys can read that Commander Ninjutsu, you pay blue black and return an unblocked attack attacker you control to hand. Put this card onto the battlefield from your hand or the command zone tapped and attacking. When a ninja you control deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand. Each opponent loses life equal to that converted mana cost. Then we have Mindstone for Mana Rock. We have Command Sphere for another Mana Rock. You'll pay two for that, and then you'll, you can tap it for a land, colorless. Command Sphere is the same you tap, but you can get any color you want. Unwind, um, counter target creature spell, untap up to three lands. Then you have Shield of the Realm, which I might take out for something else. Then we have an island, Kefnet, the mindful, the god from Amonkhet, flying indestructible. Kefnet, the mindful, can't attack and block unless you have seven or more cards in your hand. Pay three, pay four, draw a card, then you may return a land card you control to its owner's hand. Forge of Heroes, tap for colorless. Uh, Seagull Starfish, basically tap it and you can scry one. Thran Temporal Gateway, uh, basically you can put a legendary artifact. You can put artifacts or legendaries or sagas on, that sagas are historic. You have Curse of the Cabal, Swamp, Walker of the Secret Ways, it's a ninja, Ninjutsu 2. When Seeker the Walker Way deals combat to each player, look at the top card, look at the player's hand. And you pay to return target ninja you control to its owner's hand. Play this ability only during your turn. Then we have Curse of Thirst. Basically, it deals damage to the player for each curse they have. Then you have Silent Blade Oni. It's ninjutsu. And when it deals combat damage to a player... To the player, look at the player's hand. You may cast an online card in it without paying its mana cost. Devastation Tide, return all non-land permits to the owner's hand. Memorial Folly, a land. Myriad Conjecture. It's a saga, basically return an instant for the first one. Uh, sorcery for the second, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can copy it. Ancient Stone Isle, a really good card for defending. Uh, Meonic Betrayal. Basically, whatever cards your opponent has in your graveyard, if you mill them almost completely out, play that. You can play anything in your, their graveyard, especially combos well with Omniscience. Then you have Tome Scour Mills. You have about three, three more lands. Jousting lands. It get equip creature gets plus 
plus two and has first strike. Vindictive Lich. When it dies, you can use different things about it. Vessel of Endless Rest. Mistblade Shinobi. An Island. Curse of Reality. This is a really evil card. Curse of Reality. Enchant player. En At the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If that player can't, he or she loses 5 life. Treasure map, which I ex already explained. Then we have... Doomblade, which you can destroy a non-black creature. In Bolas's clutches, you can take control of a, anything you want. Uh, psychic cor Corrosion. When you draw a card, each of... Each opponent puts top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Without weakness, you can make a creature indestructible, or you can cycle and you draw a card. Tsuku really works well with this deck, especially if you use a lot of 1 1 creatures. You can make him all unblockable and swing. Out. Then you have a swamp, Trespasser's Curse. Um, whenever that. Okay, so I was playing yesterday, I did this on a player. So whenever they play, um, whenever a creature enters their battlefield under their control, that person loses life, you gain a life. Curse of the Bloody Tome. Basically, whenever you cat in, um, curse that player with that, they mill the top two. Sensor, you can uh, counter or cycle to draw. The th um, Jeskai Thief, you can draw a card. Um... Memorial to Genius, it's a land. Mind Grind, this is evil. So basically, if you pay about a certain amount of mana, where it where it says an X, which I'll bring it down where you can see the X cost, basically that will allow you to really mess a person up. Basically, it they have to, where it, whatever X is, so you basically make it to where it's like, you put 40, and they have to mill till they hit 40 lands. So, basically, you can mill someone out. Frank Sanity, a very evil card. So, whenever they do something, whenever they mill cards, at the beginning of their upkeep, they have to mill that many. Uh, two more lands. Um, Crystal Ball, you can scry two. Uh, Ninja the Deep Power... Basically, you can, um, whenever it deals combat damage, you can draw one. Here's Downfall. You can destroy a creature or Planeswalker. Brainstorm, draw three, put two back. Litigary Blood, you can literally, um, destroy a target creature, get three mana. Mox Amber, zero drop mana rock. Um, Cold War Snapper, a four five creature with hexproof. Lighthouse Chronologist, if you get him up to level 7, you basically can do whatever you... You have free reign to do whatever you want. Because you pretty much take an extra turn along with everyone else. Time Seed, basically sack 5 artifacts, take an extra turn. Curse of Wiz Wizardry. Um, you choose a color, and whenever that player plays that color, they lose a life. Karn's Temporal Sundering, I explained it, along with Player Bridge. Soul Ring, Omniscience, that we have lands, the archetypes, Consuming Aberration, Opt, Diabolic Tutor. Then we have Golden Guardian, which is a defender. If it pretty much, you can use that as a 4-4 defender for a wall block and pretty much deal damage. Then you pretty much, if you pay two, it can, if it dies, you can transform it. Seer's Lantern, a mana rock, and scrying, but really don't scry. One with the machine works well with Ancient Stone Idol. You draw that many cards. Command Tower, Planeswalker, Liliana, Death Welder. You can put net, minus one counters on a target creature you want. Demir Signet, you pay one tap to add two. Then you have some cards, duress, you can look at wherever your opponent's hand discard a card they had Sora Discord, it's a demon which 
Basically, you can pick two players. Whenever one player d takes damage, that other player takes damage. A land, a counter spell. Cursed Witch. This is really nice. Whenever it, it dies, um, it transforms into Infectious Curse. Basically, um, whenever that player, whoever has it, loses one life and you gain one life. Then we have Tezzeric Cruel Machinist. Machinist. Yeah. Kokushu, whenever it dies, opponent loses um, live life, five life, and you gain five life. Cancel, counter, Torment of Scarabs. Uh, what it does is, Enchanted player, that player loses three life unless he or she sacrifices a non land permanent or discards a card. Negate, counter, counter squall, counter. Painful lessons, you draw two, but you lose two. Bone to Ash, counter, and you draw a card. Vanquish the weak, you can destroy a creature. Sands of Delirium, pretty much a mill. Disallow, a counter. Cook, a uh, Kega. When this one dies, that one's, that one's really good. It basically, you can take control of something, and then boom. They, if when it dies. Um, destroy, an island, Doctor Assembly. It creates, um... Five color softer creature tokens, and it basically do lets you do what you want. And Mind Sculpt mills the top seven. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope to see you guys next time. Later. Bye.